Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwanza kabisa ninashukuru Mungu kwa wakati huu ambao ameweza kutujalia ili tukaweza kupatana katika mtandao huu. Siku ya leo ningetaka tuweze kujumuika ili tuweze kusikiza neno la Mwenyezi Mungu na kabla hata tujaanza ningependa kwanza tushukuru. Mungu wetu na Baba yangu ninaposhukuru ninalimini jina lako. Asante Bwana kwa siku ya leo. Asante Bwana kwa kutushikilia. Asante Bwana kwa kutupa nguvu. Baba wetu ninaomba rehema zako zipatotoshe hata tunapoenda kusikia neno lako Bwana. Ninaomba nguvu yako iwe pamoja nasi. Neno lako likatuelekeze, likatuongoze na Bwana jina lako litatukuka. Niki msikilizaji wangu na mtazamaji wangu ili Bwana Mungu kaweze kumtia nguvu na kuendelea Jehova ugawa Mungu kape wako. Asante Yesu na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo miomba na kuamini. Amen. Soma katika kitabu cha Psalms 103. 103 nitaisoma kisha tutaweza kujua ni kwa nini Mungu anatuongelea siku ya leo kupitia Zaburi ya moja na tatu. Bless the Lord O my soul and all that is within within me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not, not all his benefit, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeemed your life from pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth will be renewed like an eagle. Wana Yesu asifiwe. Nitahudi anazungumzia nafsi yake anayeambia mtukuze Bwana ewe nafsi yangu na chochote ambacho kilicho ndani yangu na usisahau faida ama manufaa ambayo umepata kutoka kwa Mwenyezi Mungu bless the name of the lord kwa nini tubariki jina la Mwenyezi Mungu kuna sababu ambazo tunazo fanya ili tuweze kubariki na kuheshimu ama kumheshimu Mungu. There is a reason to bless and honor God. One reason is this. Bless God of all his benefit. Kuna faida ambayo tunapata kutoka kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Yeye ameweza kutubariki. Yeye ni Mungu mwenye nguvu zote. Kwa hivyo wakati tunapolibariki na kuheshimu jina la Mwenyezi Mungu na nafsi yetu inapoomba inapomtukuza Mwenyezi Mungu kuna ile kitu ambacho kinafanyika katika maisha yetu Daudi alikuwa mtu ambaye alikuwa amebarikiwa sana yeye alikuwa ambaye roho yake ilikuwa inafuguzana na Mungu kwa hivyo David did not mean in this sense that a greater person bestow a blessing on the lesser person God is infinitely greater than man. The man could never give a blessing to God. David meant in this sense that it blesses and honors God when his creature praise him and thank him appropriately. So Daudi alikuwa na maanisha ya kwamba tumsifu Bwana. Tuweze kumheshimu yeye. Tumtukuze yeye. Ukweli kabisa Mungu ni mkubwa, Mungu ni mkuu sana. Kwa hivyo wakati Biblia na neno la Mungu yatuambia tulibariki jina la Mwenyezi Mungu, inamaanisha ya kwamba tumtukuze huyu Bwana. Tumtukuze huyu Mungu kwa sababu ya mambo ambayo ametenda. Bless the Lord O oh my soul. David called upon his soul to bless Yahweh. It was as if David looked at his soul and assumed that it was not praising God enough. He called upon his soul to do more. Daudi aliita nafsi yake. Kwa hivyo siku ya leo ninataka kukwambia msikilizaji wangu, nafsi zetu zinaweza kuwa azimtukuzi Bwana jinsi inavyostahili. Lakini kama Daudi vile alivyofanya na akaweza kumtukuza Mungu, akaambia ewe nafsi yangu fanya zaidi ya vile unavyofanya. Ewe nafsi yangu litukuze jina la Mwenyezi Mungu. Kwa hivyo wacha tuweze kuambia wengine ya kwamba tutukuze Mwenyezi Mungu. Tutukuze ili jina la Mwenyezi Mungu. Tumwabudu huyu Mungu kwa sababu ako na uwezo. Vyote tunavyo katika kila kitu tulicho nacho 
kikaweze kumtukuza Mwenyezi Mungu. All that is within me. Kila kitu ambacho uko nacho, mali yako, vitu vyako, afya yako, upendo wako, Mungu anasema nipende mimi. Kwa hivyo tumtukuze huyu Mungu na vyote vilivyo ndani yetu. Tuko na amani tumtukuze Mwenyezi Mungu. Mungu ametubariki na vyote tumtukuze Mwenyezi Mungu. Kwa sababu gani? Wakati ambapo tunafanya hivyo, basi Mwenyezi Mungu anakuja kutubariki na anakuja kutenda mambo mazuri. Kwa hivyo neno la Mungu wacha liendelee kutukuka. Sababu at least if we wanna go with all that is within us whatever god has given us the blessing that the god has given unto us let's praise this name of the lord because he deserves our praise he deserves to be honored he deserves to be given all the glory and honor because he is our creator praise the name of the lord kwa kuna faida ya kwamba katika mawazo yetu mungu ametuponya anasema ya kwamba who forgives all your iniquities and who is all your diseases first of all god has forgiven us alituma yesu ili akuje duniani akafanyika mwana kondoo akatolewa akiwa kafara ya dhambi na sasa tumesamehewa dhambi hiyo tu inatosha ya kwamba tumtukuze mungu kwa sababu dhambi ilileta kifo na tungekufa kifo ambacho ni cha dhambi kwa sababu malipo ya dhambi ni mauti lakini Yesu alikufa kwa niaba yetu ili sisi tukomborewe ili damu yake tusafishe kwa hivyo tuko na sababu ya kumtukuza huyu Mungu tuko na sababu ya kuliita jina la Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ametuponya ameondoa dhambi hakuna rawama tena kwa hivyo kwa damu yake kwa sisi tunapaswa kumtukuza Mungu. Kuna sababu ya kumwambia Bwana ni asante kwa sababu ameweza kutukomboa. Ameondoa raana zote. Ameondoa kila kitu chote ili sisi tuweze kupata nguvu ya kumheshimu. Tuweze tupate nguvu ya kutukuza jina lake. Anasema ya kwamba he who is your disease is eh, another great benefit of God is care for our bodies. He brings healing to us in this life both natural and miraculous way. Mungu ametuponya, ameponya miili yetu wakati tunamuita tukiwa wagonjwa, ametuponya. Wakati mawazo yetu yamesongwa, anatuponya. Wakati tumeshuka chini, wakati tu, ameponya kuponyaji tusi wa mwili, ametuponya financially, ametuponya physically, ametu ponya economically yani ya kwamba amekuja aka address all the holistic aspect of human life and if we came to address all the holistic aspect of human life then we have a reason to bless his name we have a reason to praise him because he is he has, he has healed us also holistically aja tusponya tu pande moja ametuponya katika kila nyanja ambazo zinahusu wanadamu nyanja zote ambazo zinafanya mtu awe mtu wakati uli mwambo ulipokuwa unatafuta kazi alikupatia kazi wakati ulikuwa unataka kupata um, um, kupata familia alikupatia familia wakati ulikuwa chini kimawazo alikuja akakuinua kwa hivyo amekuponya sio magonjwa tu lakini ameponya your wholesome your holistically healed kwa hivyo ni lazima tuweze kumtukuza huyu Mungu Jambo lingine ni kwamba he has redeemed us from destruction. Ameondoa usiadibiwe. Amefanya usiadibiwe. Mene pray Mungu huyu ako na uwezo. Jehova ako na uwezo. Kwa hivyo amekuzuia usiadibiwe. Usiadibiwe na mambo ya ulimwengu. Ameku yes rescue you from destruction kuna matatizo mengi ambayo tunakumbana nayo anasema hata ijapopita katika maji mengi hayo maji hayatakubeba hata uingie katika moto hata harufu ya moto itakuwa pamoja na wewe good example when shadrach meshach and abednego when god saved them 
from being consumed by the fire. It was the dead end for them. But they stood firm in their faith. They were bound to be destroyed. Even they were thrown into the fire. But inside that fire, the fire never consumed them. He is the God who is able to do much more than that. So we need to believe in Him. Faith is important. Even when we, you are to bless the name of the Lord. Faith is very important. When we ought to bless and praise this God. Because He has redeemed you. He has preserved you. He has preserved your life. He has preserved all that is in you. He has preserved your health. He has preserved your jobs. He has preserved your family from destruction. So you need to praise the name of the Lord. So, let us know that He has redeemed us. And we have all the reasons to praise the name. The other thing is that He has grown you with love, kindness, and tender mercy. He has extended His love for us. He has spared us from sins. He guides us. He uses us when we are troubled. God has brought this crown of love and the mercy to us. We need to bless the name of the Lord. He satisfies our mouth with good things. The result of good works, the result of God's work, both in what He has saved us from and what He saves us unto, is to bring true satisfaction to our life. Amen. 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 Unaitaji kutoka kwake. Hivyo, wacha tuenere kutumeni ya mungu. Kwa sababu, anatutuncheresha maitaji yetu. Anatupatia kire tunacho itaji. Good things. He becomes the source of our strength. Energy to us. So, we are renewed like an ego. We are renewed like an ego. Every day when we trust in the Lord, our strength will be renewed like an ego. Our strength will be renewed like an ego. He satisfies us. So we need to be a people who are worshipping him. He will renew your youth. Autapata utofu tena. Kwa sababu yeye ni mungu maminifu. Kwa hivyo, wacha tumtukuzo yu mungu. Wacha neno la siku ya leori tuchenge. Ya kwamba, nafsi zetu sisisahu manufaa amba tumepata kwa mungu. Mungu haendere kukulinda endelea kukutunza na inajua ya kwamba neema ya Mungu inakutosha wacha baraka hii ikashukia kwako ya kwamba despite all the challenges that we may go through our soul out to praise the lord nafsi zetu zikamtukuze Mungu na jina la Mwenyezi Mungu likeze kutukuka wacha tushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu baba wetu na Mungu wangu umetulisha siku ya leo umetufanya kuwa kiumbe kipya ya kwamba Bwana umetuhimiza nafsi zetu zikuje kukusahau lakini nyakati zote Bwana tukakutukuze bariki msikilizaji wangu babu kampe nguvu na neema yake kamtoshe kutana na mahitaji yake Bwana mbariki Bwana naposikiza hili neno na neema yako Bwana ikaze kumtosha asante Bwana kwa sababu Mungu mambo mazuri yatatendeka endelea kuwa pamoja naye mlinde Bwana muhifadhi Bwana kampe nguvu na neema ya kukutukuza Yosema ni ya sante na ni katika jina la baba, la ramwana, la romu takatifu, tunambana kwa meni. Yosema ni ya sante, jina rangu ni Dikon Patrick Mwenda na udumu na kanisa la AIPCA Isiolo na inajua ya kwamba umebarikiwa, utana nami katika mtanda huu, siku nyingine. Buwana wamani, habari.